Rangers. Handlicum starting away. All set. Sent on the way from the 2,000 metre marker. Be with me is the grey. Cole Cutter is on the outside. Royal Colours is near the rail. Asagai is back in fourth position. Joshua's crown Stormy Clubs. Saratoga dances near the rail. Then Kentucky Dares behind that one is Crime Victim. And at the back is Nishak. They spread out 12, 13 lengths as Be With Me takes them along. Kolkata is second. Royal Colors and Asagai. Then Stormy Eclipse and Saratoga Dancers in the yellow. Joshua's Crown is on the outside. Then Kentucky Gears, Crime Victim and Nishak's the trailer. Be With Me is allowed to get away. Six lengths to the good. In second is Kolkata, Asagai, Royal Colors. Stormy Eclipse and on the outside of that one, on the inside is Saratoga Dancer, Joshua's Crown. Then Kentucky Gears, Crime Victim and Nishak. Be with me by about five lengths. In second, Kolkata, Royal Colors and Asagai. Stormy Eclipse and Saratoga Dancer, not not between the two of them. And then Joshua's Crown, Crime Victim and Nishak's the trailer. It's still Be With Me by about three. Kolkata second, Asagai. Then Royal Colors, Stormy Eclipse and Saratoga Dancer. Joshua's Crown, Crime Victim, Kentucky Guest and Nishak. Top of the lane, be with me the leader, Kolkata is going to be the first one to challenge. Asagai on the outside, Royal Colors, Stormy Eclipse comes around, Saratoga Dance is going to go between the two of them as they get to the 300, be with me Kolkata, Stormy Eclipse, Saratoga Dance are down the inside, it's now Saratoga Dance the leader, Kolkata, Joshua's Crown and Crime Victim running on, it's Saratoga Dancer, Kolkata, Saratoga Dancer, Kolkata, Crime Victim, Victim, but Saratoga Dancer, Stormy Eclipse is taking off, but it goes to Saratoga Dancer, Stormy Eclipse and Crime Victim for second and third. Number two, Saratoga Dancer, the Mamba in Seattle, comes to the good and ends up winning it. Crime Victim takes up nicely, also the Stable Companion and Stormy Eclipse on the outside rail. They get down to the line and you'll see number two, Saratoga Dancer, is the winner. Second place gets very close, it probably goes, let's continue to run it. Stormy Eclipse nearest our second. Crime Victim third, Asagai, Kolkata, only a length and a quarter for five horses. Joshua's Crown, Royal Colors, further back in the run down to the line. Saratoga Dancer, 6 from 12 now, then the long-time leader, Be With Me and Kentucky Gears. Further back is Nishak. So the winner is 2 off the left-hand side, and that's Saratoga Dancer. I think that puts Muzi just too short of his thousandth winner. And the grey Stormy Eclipse on the right, one of three greys, is taking off in the latter stages. But Saratoga Dancer ends up winning race 7. There's still an eighth and last to come. Back to the studio. Saratoga Dancer is turning out to be a super horse for the Duncan Howells team and all the owners concerned. The son of Mumbo in Seattle, bred by Gary Player Stud, uh, was 140,000 Rand purchase at the ready to run uh, sale back in 2013. His record will now read 12 runs, 5 wins, and 4 places. He's just been a super horse for you guys, Duncan. Uh, he's uh, very honest and. Um you know, I don't think we've got to the bottom of him yet. He keeps getting better and better. I, I did get the impression today that 2,000 meters is his maximum distance. Wouldn't like to push him a turpentine over 2,000 meters. I think it's a very testing track and it could find him out. I was very, very disappointed that he never ran in the uh, charity mile. In the charity mile. Uh, you know, I prepared the horse for the race and he only ran here today because I had him so well and fit in himself. And I think he won the race today because of his fitness.
And the distance today, 2,000 meters, Duncan, he handled it superbly well. Look, he did see out the distance, but I think there's a big difference between tracks of gravel to turpentine. And also, I haven't really been that successful tripping the horses up to Johannesburg, so I'd rather sit here in a hotel and wait for the winter season. These owners, uh, they're good friends of yours, guys that love their racing, and nice to see them get a decent horse on their hands. Yes, uh, they're very passionate about what they do. Put a hell of a lot of pressure on me. And uh, it's, but it's just lovely to see such an honest horse trying his hardest and everything comes to fruition. Duncan, before you leave us for the house uh, followers out there, you, you're taking some horses down to Cape Town. We saw some runners yesterday. We had our first runner yesterday, Sylvester the Cat. A little bit disappointed in his run, but then looking at him after the race, he was blowing quite hard. So I think in all, pos in all probability, he needed the run quite badly yesterday. It was quite a slow run, 1,200. And he tended to want to get on with it with Muzi down the middle of the track. I thought he moved through a little bit too early. But, uh, you know, I just think they need their first run down there. It was a strong field. You got a few horses there, Duncan? Yeah, we've got uh, Sylvester the Cat, same due restriction. She'll have her first run next week, Saturday. And then Cosmic Light, she'll be coming out quite shortly. Duncan, well done to yourself and your team. This horse has done very well for you guys, and long may it continue. Thanks, Dees. Just thanks to our sponsors, Winning Form, and good luck to all the connections. Let's get the winning jockey in. His name is Muzi Yeni. He'll now read uh, five rides on Saratoga Dancer for four wins and a place. What happened the time you placed? Uh, 1,200. 1,200. Well, the, coming to this 2,000-meter trip today, Muzi, what were your thoughts? You've ridden him over a mile. Obviously, I had my concerns of his uh, distance. You know, he's, in, he's been in great form, great shape at home, and should have been disappointed if, if obviously... He couldn't make it, but uh, his class pulled him through. And uh, obviously his well-being also played a huge part of it. But just still a win for a merit. He got the job done, and that's what counts. Uh, the race, uh, how did things work out? A decent pace was set up front by the stable companion. Yes, I was fortunate enough we had the stable companion. He prefers the 2-4, so it was going to be no use to tuck him in, and uh, obviously it was going to be a slow run race. But he made a nice even pace, and Maosu was able to settle himself. He gave one or two tugs at the mile, but uh, just helped him to settle down, and I was able to ride a nice race on him and hold him up as long as I could. And he showed a little courage when the other horses came, but it was a good one. Well, it's 9-9-8 nine, nine, now, and uh, you're looking for two more winners. Uh, maybe we get it on Tuesday, or are you riding tomorrow? Yes, uh, we've got a couple of chances, and you know I'm very competitive in Kimberley, so hopefully we get the job done. It's been a long wait, a long trial. I just want to really thank the support of the trainers that have been giving me, especially I've been associated with Mr. Howes, and uh, we have our highs and lows, and I'm just grateful for the opportunities. When you get that one triple zero cap, if it happens in Kimberley tomorrow, please bring the cap down. Tuesday. I'll keep a couple for you, Dees. Well done, Muzi. Thank you. I just want to well done to the owners. Uh, it's a whole list of them. I don't want to leave anyone out. Mr. Winter and Mrs. and Mrs. Meads, Mr. Westwater, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Trotter. Just a big thanks to them. It's a big team effort. We've got a good staff behind us, Warren and uh, James. So I just want to say a big thanks to them. Well done, Muzi. And let's get the guys in. Jane, Rodney, Mr. Need, come through, guys. Let's get everybody in. Jane, you're going to have the first word, and we, we spoke on Friday night and uh, sleepless nights. No, I will sleep very well, thank you. Today you'll sleep very well, and uh, you, you didn't have any problem with the, with the trip when I spoke to you on Friday. I didn't have any problem with the trip, but I think he's a better miler. This horse, I mean, when he's I... He's a very good horse, this class brought him through, but I think he's a very good miler. Twelve starts, six wins, I mean, that's a rare feat for owners. He's a good horse. And the partners, I mean, everybody's over the moon. Everybody's come to the track today to lead him in. Especially running with my pink handbag. <laughs> well done. Come through, guys. Come to Mr. Lee. Let's have a chat. And uh, Fantastic. Fantastic. It was a fantastic run, Adiz, yeah, because we didn't know whether he was going to see, see out the distance. I, I'm still not convinced that uh, 2000 is, is up his street. Uh, I think, personally, he's one of the, the, the better milers in the country. It was just a pity we missed out on the... Uh, on, on the charity mile because he, I, I think he would have won a big race there. But uh, we will, so be it, you know, we'll, 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 we'll see what happens next year. But I, I think, uh, leave it to Duncan, he'll, he'll, he'll he watch the race. I, I, but I think mile 1800 is, is I, I think his class has carried him through today. I think he's a very, very good horse. Duncan has done a superb job for you guys. Well done to Duncan. Well done to Muzzy. Great ride. And he keeps on delivering this horse all the time. And well done to all my partners. Uh, it's been such an exciting horse to own, and it's a lot of fun. Well done, guys. All the owners, well done to them with number two, 
Saratoga Dancer, two, four, five, and six. That's the way they finished in race number seven. Coming up next will be the lucky last. And let's not forget the Quartet Maxi Pool carryover to race number eight. The time to jot down there will be 17, 20, 20 past five. Coming up next, the last leg of this afternoon's place accumulator and pick six. And no doubt, the bet to get involved in will be the Quartet.